Thursday. Welcome to Weight Loss Losers. We are going to bang this out really quick. It's book review and to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned because I am the only one, the only one who went out and actually got a book to read specifically for this week. The rest are complete failures in every way possible. Breaking Free from Emotional Eating by Janine Roth. Now let's look at the cover. I, it should have been a clue that this book might have been geared more towards a female audience from the floating candy hearts, but I like candy hearts. I mean, come on. Janine, if you're going to sell a book that's more geared towards the ladies, put in big glitter letters, you know, four chicks. That's fine. And granted, I'm kind of a girly guy, so I didn't mind it, but I'm just talking for the rest of the audience out there. And as a side note, how much do we love the, the women on YouTube and the weight loss community who talk about their periods, which I'm completely fine with, but they feel it necessarily every time to say beforehand that, you know, I'm about to talk about that time of the month, so all the men out there might want to turn off the page. No middle-aged mom from Kentucky, I'm going to sit right here for the next six minutes and listen to you talk about how you gained 10 pounds of water weight because you ate one saltine cracker because Aunt Flo just does that to us, doesn't she? Oh boy! Breaking free from emotional eating. Um, first, I'll say that not everybody who's overweight deals with emotional eating and binge eating. Um, I know for me, it's been the number one thing in my whole health crisis. And Janine Roth is someone I've been aware of for quite some time because years and years ago, I had come across an excerpt from one of her earlier books um, about binge eating. And it was the first time I had ever read something where someone got it spot on on what it was like to be in that situation of binging and filling yourself till you were sick. And I had never read something like that before. Um, and I'll put a link to that small excerpt on the side there so you can check it out. Breaking Free from Emotional Eating uh, talks, of course, about binge eating, emotional eating, why we do it, ways to better deal with it. I won't go through the whole thing of it. It's, you know, nice to read a book that doesn't talk anything about nutrition, doesn't suggest any type of food you eat. On the contrary, it really, um, it's actually very similar to Lauren's uh, Paul McKenna in terms of eating what your body craves, not having this list of stuff we can't have. Because when we have a list of stuff we can't have, we eventually will break and run towards it. And that's when stuff like binge eating and emotional eating happen. So when we allow ourselves to eat what we want, but really stay in tune with our bodies and know when to stop, um, it's a very powerful thing. I think the one kind of idea I took from the book that I will use the most is the idea of hunger and what hunger is. You know, I've always been that person who's, for the majority of my life, has gone through that binge and diet cycle over and over and over. And knowing what hungry is, I know what starving is, and I know what being completely full until I'm sick is, but it's hard for me to recognize when I'm just naturally hungry or when I'm satisfied. Those are things I'm not used to. And it's a very kind of daunting thought when you're someone who's had that whole life of dieting and being thrown from one extreme to the other. It's a very daunting thought to attempt that, attempt a normal eating cycle. And she says, you know, there will be times that we do turn to food for emotional reason. 
but to acknowledge it and know in our heads that, you know, at this moment we are eating because of such and such reason, there's power in that. Last week I had gone out, um, for some reason or another, ended up having just a terrible day and found myself alone at night in that stage where I just wanted food to numb everything. And I did end up having a small binge, but before I did, I really took a moment and thought, you know, why am I here? Why am I doing this? And I really felt kind of empowered that, you know, yes, it's not good that I'm letting myself eat because I'm depressed, but at least I'm acknowledging that this is the reason why I'm doing it. And the next day, I had a lunch date set up, and under normal circumstances, after binging the night before, I would have either canceled the lunch so I could starve all day to make up for whatever, or I would go to the lunch and just kind of continue the whole binge on and gorge myself. But instead, I looked at the incident the night before for what it was, I let it drop, I went out to lunch, I ordered whatever I wanted on the menu, I immediately had half of the meal put into a box, and I enjoyed myself, and I didn't feel guilty. So analyzing myself and taking that time to really pay attention to hunger and when I'm hungry and why I'm hungry um, is something I'm really working on. And yeah, a lot of that was covered in this book. Um, a lot of it, just complete garbage. I mean, I'm not gonna sit down for two hours and write out an inner dialogue. I'm not that type of guy. I'm sorry, Janine. Maybe middle-aged mom from Kentucky will do it. I am not going there. But yes, if you are someone who does deal with emotional eating, pick it up, it's worth it. Even if you're a guy and you're comfortable with your own masculinity. I'm a reader, da 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 I'm a reader. Ooh. Look at my bookmark. How cute is that bookmark? I have had this since I was a chubby little Adam. I used to sit on my bed with a family size bag of Skittles and read my Goosebump books. I mean, that's adorable. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you Janine for being such an emotional mess, really. Stay tuned for Jason tomorrow and I will see you next Thursday. Ba -da 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 -da. A reading rainbow.